Let's see. Let's 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 play it. Um, I think I did. <laughs> Hopefully, I did. <laughs> what is this? Okay, all that is muted. Good wavelengths. I think this takes place when we are jits, if I remember correctly. Oh, where's audio? What are we on a? Oh, on this us. That's currently us. Hmm. There's the audio. Now the question is, when does this take place? That is the real Steph. question. Steph, uh, Gingrich, is that how you say it? Yeah, that's right. What kinds of radio have you done before? God, let's see. What haven't I done? College radio, small town station, did a couple podcasts. Oh. Lots of live mixing for my band. So this is before we met Chen. This is like right when she moved here. Okay. I didn't know that. Oh, okay. So you know your way around an audio booth. <laughs> Literally me. Me on my daily fucking Yeah, totally. Days. Your friend did tell me you were overqualified for this job. I just assumed he was, you know. Not capping? Being Gabe, right. Oh. <laughs> well, look, if you can handle it without much supervision, the job's yours. Awesome. Now, part of your responsibilities would be managing the record store. Given all your retail experience on your resume, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Oh, right. Yeah, Damn. no problem at all. Multitasking? Great. Literally two jobs in so one. So your friend said you quit your band to be here. Can I ask why? Mind your business. Sorry. Maybe that's too personal. No, it's fine. Um, too personal. No big reason. I'm just trying to... Adult? Step back a little, do something cool, get over a breakup. Um, step, step back a little, do some. I mean, being a radio person, that would be that. Honestly, that would be cool. You know, do something cool, something I can really get into. Yeah, like Look DJing for did. a cute little station. Be me again. Hmm. Well, I hope we live up to expectations. Haven Springs is no Seattle. I think I'll love it. Hell yeah. All right. Okay. The manager left me a task list for my first day. So that's probably around here somewhere. Oh my God. I was about to say, no way this is first person. <laughs> All right. Task list. Task Great. list. Here's the list. Steph, welcome to your first shift. Sorry I can't be there. Here are the basics. Introduce yourself. Use the computer to play the auto DJ. Read all ads on air. Ad copy is on the desk. It's very unlikely, but some folks might call in. This probably goes without saying, but someone calls in. Answer. Good luck. I already forgot everything. Introduce myself on air? Huh. Let's give this a shot. No, no, no. Hold on. Wait. Wasn't I supposed to do something? Fuck, I already forgot. Oh my god, stress. Oh god. A sticky Dino. Bet I could get I these to stick to the bulletin board from here. Okay. Pretty sure the only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone. Bubble? Are you the Haven High yeah. mascot? <laughs> what the fuck? One of these buttons is the mic switch. All right, let's turn it on. Let's go, baby. What's up, kind Haven listeners? Steph here. The music, uh, the new DJ, the music maestro. KRCT's new maestro of music, sultan of songs, tyrant of tunes. You get the picture. We've got some great music coming up for you, so uh, keep it here. 
You're listening to KRCT. Oh, God. Well, I promised great music, so next up, check out the playlist. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Got fun there. Sticky dinos. Where's the records? Um, computer. Whoa. What is that? My Elgato? This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Pretty sparse. Damn, they don't want to... Dude, they haven't even upgraded it. <laughs> it says upgrade to pro. National top 50, lock, new releases, settings, import. Okay. It'll do, I guess. Oh. Hello. Sorry, computer DJ. It's my turn now. Paint me silver? Fall asleep? I'm not gonna lie, that this might look like a, a banger. Whoa, what is that? Yuck. Hockey distance, sunbeam sound machines. Home fork oaks? I'm not gonna lie, this one might be it. Let's see. Fall asleep, what would make what do we put down the radio? Falling asleep? No one wants that. Pay me silver, pound. Let's go with this one. Yeah, that's a banger. Here's the cover art, the title, banger. Must be a banger. Shaking things up already, Gingrich. Gingrich. <laughs> Maybe I can play a few more songs today. Now I'm supposed to read some ad copy. That must be around here, too. Okay. I mean, you know, simple enough. Black Lantern, Avalanche, Ice Cream. Uh, let's see. Uh, talk about the BL, including... the. Okay, so that's the Black Lantern, Authentic. So that's probably the first... So please don't call us that. Our last name is Anderson. Crab Raguna. <laughs> okay, let's do Black Lantern. And now, a message from one of KRCT's sponsors. The Black Lantern. Here in Haven, the Black Lantern is known for... Oh my god! I circled the... Oh, oh, oh fuck. Oh god. The historical decor. Fuck. Where else can you feast under a used pickaxe and a literal bullet hole? Oh my god, oh That's my god, right. oh my god. That's right. Nowhere. And then there's the food. Try the lanterns. Oh god, jalapeno top notch is this one. Top notch burger game. Best burgers for 20 miles in any direction. Bar none. Stop by the Black Lantern today and tell them Steph sent you. Can I see it? Ooh, I need a break. Yo, you just started. I'll just step away from what? Authentic atmosphere, good food. Oh. That's not bad. Okay. Put to work, Colorado.com. Putting, good, uh, okay. From the desk for a sec. Step away from the desk? Oh, records? Oh, the same shit. Okay. Oh, let's see. I've been meaning to fill out my dating app profile. What? Hey, yo. And I should probably, I should probably do my work first. <laughs> Steph Gingrich, this is your life. Whoa. Something informative, a lyric, something jokey. Uh, tagline. Uh, she's not a, from what we've seen, she's uh, she's not informative. A lyric, maybe something. Let's go with the lyric. She seems like that. About me, musician, gamer, gamer, and postal traveler, gay disaster, a spark. What? I mean, she's not really a gamer or a cat lover. In the main story, we didn't even see that. So I'm gonna Next, do that. Next, gotta out myself as a media snob. It's only fair. What kind of stuff do I want to name drop? Games, music, let's do music. And top it off with a dash of what I'm looking for. Ba <laughs> the tagline, baby, I'm bad luck charm. <laughs> Something serious, community. Yeah, fun, dude. Disaster, oh, oh God. Moved here on a whim to DJ at a radio station. Took me to a punk rock show or make me mixtape your favorite indie bands. Just want to find a girl. I can goof off with. Whoa. 
Oh, she's 24. <gasps> no way I could actually... No, <laughs> no way. Let's see, Grace? Batty? Ah, uh, nah. Don't like that. Whoa! This user has entered a tagline yet. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, you you miss every shot you don't take. Uh, why not? Whoa! Yes, sir. Keep Colorado Goth. Yeah, love that. Oh, she didn't match with me. Fuck. Fuck my life. Are you the one we're looking for? Are you the one we're looking for? 25. Um, why not? Uh, wanna get high and watch anime? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, why not? Fuck it. You're kidding. Sorry, there's no one else in your area right now. Try again later. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, okay. Make the first move, wait for her. No, let, let's go in, dude. How do you introduce yourself to someone named Bubbles? <laughs> yeah, message. So, is Bubbles your given name, or just stick with hi? Um, let's do that one. Hello, Hansa. Whoa, okay. Uh, you're a bot, aren't you? Hmm. Uh, dude, I don't even know what's the good choice here. <laughs> You're a bot, aren't you? Fuck it, let's go with that one. Are you enjoying this one? Oh yeah, it's definitely a bot. Oh yeah, you're very much a bot. Hmm, yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, that's a bot. Can't be bot. Let's do a wall. What the fuck is that? Is your birthday song gives you a cow? Don't you hate this sub user? <laughs> you should give me your number so I can. <laughs> You're not even good, bot. Next, next, uh, next test question. I might regret it. What? Hello, handsome. Why am I doing this story? <laughs> okay, spending an hour entertaining yourself by talking to a bot is cute. But spending two hours is cause for concern. What? Dude, it hasn't been that long. What are you talking about? Okay. Guess I should probably break the ice. Are you cool? Go in flurry? Yeah, come on, man. Let's, you know, put our intentions out there. Hey, beautiful. How's it going? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, you're going to think I'm the world's biggest bitch. Yeah, get out of here. There's probably work for me to do in the store as well. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Wait, I didn't even finish. Oh god. I think there was a note for me on the front counter. Yeah, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. We could do that after. Yeah, we could do that after. All right, let's see. Read ads. Put to work, Colorado.com, smooth, okay, licensed career, match candidates positions used by leading companies and free of trial with promo code KRCT. I already forgot everything, but, you know. Let's hear from one of our sponsors. Put to work, Colorado.com has been putting Coloradans to work since 2002 using their job portal career, job portal. Super slick job portal. Seriously, I'm not even going to tell you how it works. It's that easy to use. But Steph, you say, I'm a unique artisan with a highly specialized skill set. No way they'll have a job for me. To which I say, not with that attitude. <laughs> okay. And just for my listeners, get a free trial membership with promo code KRCT. Okay. Easy peasy. Let's see one more. New to downtown Haven, new people ice cream shop was founded by husband and wife team Sonny and Angela. I lunch over 50 flavors, classic. Okay. Sweet molasses and please don't call us that. Our last name is Anderson. What? 
Please don't call us that. Our last names. Anderson and Crab Ra Rangoon. What? Yellow. Um. Uh. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Here's oh, here a new local business to get excited about. Avalanche ice cream in downtown Haven Springs. The variety of flavors they've got is going to blow your freaking mind. Classics is from... <laughs> Yellow. Even their classics are a step above the rest. Prepare to change the way you think about vanilla. So come on down to Avalanche Ice Cream and get yourself a scoop from our good pals. Oh my god. Anderson. Sonny and Angela Anderson. The best neighbors a hungry DJ could ask for. Oh, did I get it? Let me see. Let me see. Anderson. Thanks Anderson. for supporting KRCT. If you have any regrets, it is now too late. Please don't call us that. Our last name is... Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. I got it right. Thank God. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Now that we did that, let's get into... Let's figure out what was happening. Oh, oh my God. Oh, could you... Sorry, there's no one else. God. Okay, let's see. Who who was... Uh, it was this person, right? Okay, you're going to think I'm the world's biggest bitch. No, I won't. Uh, why? Uh, I guess that depends on what you say next. So I swipe right on accident. That's hilarious. Please tell me how that happened. Jesus. I don't know. I'll keep checking my settings. It's supposed to show me dudes. Maybe I changed it without meaning to. Mmm. Often does this happen? So why'd you swipe? Hmm, maybe she's, uh, you know? Wait, we're, we've established how I showed up in your feed, but why'd you swipe right on me? You're gonna think this is dumb? Try me. I have a, I have a thing about names, like, I don't even look at the people's pics. Most of the time, I swipe based on whether or not I can imagine introducing a dude to my friends. So I was like, yeah, hey y'all, this is my boyfriend's stuff. And it sounded good, and I didn't even check, uh... Sorry for the confusion. Hmm, that's interesting. That's dumb as hell. Let's see. Maybe we could get in there. That's actually really interesting. A way to use dating apps. I have literally never heard of anyone else use that method. I mean, maybe for good reason, Aloha. Anyway, you seem cool. Sorry for the, uh, the weirdness. No worries. Swipe carefully. No problem. Take care out there. All right. Well, we got that. Ooh. Unicorn hunters. Barking up the wrong tree, I'm afraid. Hey, kitty. We're excited to get to know you. We're excited? Oh, it's probably a throuple or some shit. Sorry, who's we? Me and Brayden? Uh, one assumes Brayden's like your pet iguana. No, Brayden's my boyfriend. We're looking for a third. Do you read our... Did you read our profile? I did, but... Let's see. Do we speak game? <laughs> I did. I mean, I did, but I must have missed that part. Well, interesting. I gotta ask, what's the appeal? What the fuck? No, no thanks. Oh, this is uh, I'm really not interested, but I gotta admit, I'm curious. Does this, like, work for you? The whole unicorn hunter thing? What do you mean? I've never really sat down and talked to anyone who dates uh, as a couple. What's the appeal? It's fun. It's a good way to make friends. Plus, I'm bi. And I'm really, I really love Brayden. So, it's a way for me to express that part of me without excluding my favorite person in the What? Yeah, I mean, huh. you know. You'll learn something new every day. That's sort of sweet, actually. Thank you. You wanna try some dude? Oh my god. She is so fucking down bad. Fair enough. Alright. <laughs> ah, it's game. <sighs> okay, let's see. God damn dude. Uh yo, hey it's Steph. What's up, bud? Uh, so actually I talked to Izzy, we're good gig. Oh, that chick. And we're good for the gig. Oh, uh, it'll be good to have to stop between us. Okay, so can't wait for you guys to play here. Hell yeah. Then you could put, uh, then you could put me up for a few days. Uh, don't you have more tour days? Should, did something happen? No, not really. 
I was just thinking maybe I stick around Haven for a little longer than originally. Both of you, yes, of course. I need to talk. If you need to talk, hit me up. So I think I can get you a job in town if you're interested. So you can stop couch surfing. Then maybe we ought to talk about that. Crack open some beers. You know, if it were me, I don't think I'd bet my future on the outcome of a game I suck that much at. Bro, I'm trying to sleep. Whatever you sleep with, your you're dead? How about the record store job, though? Oh, fine, I'll get an interview. Thanks uh break a leg, kid. Thanks, man. Seriously, don't mention it. Uh, system, you've been notified. Case uh, and approval. Welcome aboard. It's about time the group chat became less of a boys club. Uh, yo, thanks for having me. Movie now, I'm always down for movie now. Dude, you always... Uh, Okay, just general conversations. Who the fuck is Mikey? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Well, I guess not. I'm still looking around. I don't know who you are, but all right, Jerry. Hey, we're doing a show at Snot Hus on the 25th. Uh, if you want in, uh, should you haven't, should you haven't heard, I kind of moved out of Seattle. Oh shit, when like a week ago. That means is he with you? Nope, sorry, dude. I don't think the SMM is the thing anymore down for sure in chat f's in the chat oh god <laughs> hey home safe i think it would be best if i blocked your number it's not personal i just feel like temptation to text you would be too much and i wouldn't so you blocked her but you're still message messaging her what i don't want to let you get on with whatever is going out there so bye this user is blocked what weird also steph was dating izzy Ooh, a horror novel. The scariest thing about this book is the menacing overdue notice I get once a year. All right. Flowers. Cool. Eleanor knows I kill plants. She willingly sent these to their death. Gabe, your girlfriend is too good for you, man. Steph, I found the new gig. Don't worry. These chocolates are, are safe for work. <laughs> All right. Music therapy theory books. Dang. Oh, oh man, I'm going to puke. The hell peed on our rug. Okay, this is a urban? Yeah, this place definitely needs an update. Next up, put your paws together for Nat King Collie. Okay. We really need to get some customers in here. All right, buddy. Okay, buddy. Treat yourself this Valentine's Day. Call Fred's snow removal. What the hell? All right. Um. I mean, who am I kidding? I totally would have gone to this tour. No contact for two years. Then this mysterious package. <laughs> well played, Mikey. All right, let's see what we got. All my old GM stuff. Holy shit. Hey, Master, now let's look at your... Mikey really went for the nostalgia. Guess I should look through everything. Mikey okay. still got it. Elamon, though, has seen better days. All right. I gifted this to Mikey before I left for Seattle. Wonder if I'd even understand half of it now. Feel like I'd get along with this woman. Dear Miss uh, Gingrich, welcome to my store. Lord knows we need a fresh face. My name is Casey. And I'm an old bat in a nursing home in Colorado Springs. The record traders is very near to my heart. So anything you can do to improve this place, and I do, and I do mean anything, is greatly appreciated. Some ideas, better decor, better music, fix van cover in the back. Been falling off for years. So, if I read that right, Kasha's basically giving me carte blanche. I can work with that. I'll check out those posters. Maybe there's something to spruce up the walls. Hmm. As for music, I can at least start it by updating the new releases. 
And, yep, there's the vent. Might as well take a look. Okay. <laughs> um. My old notebook. Dad must have dug it up in my room and given it to Mikey. Uh, rubies and fire, the perfect city beneath the froth and foam. Back. Uh, let's go here. What are we going to do? Like a LARP? Another one? It would be really fun to reconnect with Mikey. It's been ages. But am I ready to GM a whole campaign again? Fuck yeah, I am. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Oof. We need to get this sucker filled up. Damn, no, no. I customers. had this melody in my head all night. Finally got out of bed and recorded it. I wonder how it sounds now. I could give it a listen, see if I still like it. This is actually pretty sick. I guess upgrading from humming to actual music is a good next step. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna lie, it's very vibey. Okay, so what instrument should I play this thing on? A synth? Let's do a synth. Yeah, I bet it'll sound cool as a synth loop. A guitar, you know? I'm assuming she's gonna do an acoustic guitar. Mostly, I'm totally at peace with my decision to quit the band and stay here. Mostly. One day, Bad clip art is going to make a comeback. And when that day comes, I'll be ready. All right. Damn. If I emptied all these out, I could make a wicked fucking fort. All right, buddy. I'm not doing that right now. If any of these ask me to dance like no one's watching, I'm buying myself a drink. Can we pick? We got to pick, right? Hmm. One of these might work. Women of power? Oops. What's oops? I guess oops is the right one. I like oops. This better live up to the mystery. Yeah. Cool. Shit. <gasps> That's coming from inside the booth. Run. My first call. Better go answer Where it. Where the fuck am I? When... Appears the call is waiting in the DJ booth. Go, 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 go. Come on, Steph. Do your fucking thing. Hello? You're on KRCT radio and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? Hmm. Depends what you mean by this. <laughs> what? <laughs> See, this is a radio booth within a record store. And this voice you're speaking to, okay, me, then. is a DJ who also works at the record store. But this phone call, as I mentioned, is decidedly for the radio. Follow? Uh, no. <laughs> Could I just give you my order and you can just 
like, give it to whoever? <sighs> yeah, why not? <gasps> Sweet. All right, uh, I got Goodbye Means Forever oh my God. by Kim Snyder, Going Our Separate Ways by The Seagulls, Don't Let the Door Hit You by Robbie Rooster. Oh, boy. Hmm. Uh. Oh, boy. What? No, nothing. Just, who are these four? My girlfriend. I saw them in her wish list online and decided to surprise her. Buy okay. local, you know? Love you, man. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeesh. Oh. I don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music. Uh-oh. Okay. Look. Maybe she's telling you something? Don't think, uh... Oh my god, both of these are so bad. I wonder if your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not picking up on? Yeah. You lost me there. <sighs> Alright, dude. Listen. I'm pretty sure your girlfriend's breaking up with you. How the hell would you know that? Gee, I don't know. Guess I'm psychic. Whatever, lady. Screw this. Thanks for calling KRCT. Well, that was, uh, that was awkward. Well, if you want to tell it, I'm all ears. Hey, 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 did you get the package I sent you? Oh, I could actually, hell yeah, let's play. I'm going to be awkward. It's going to be awkward, but fun. Who's Mikey? Oh, classic Steph, Gingrich. Wait, can I type here? Oh, no, I can't. What is that? Bubbles. Can I message anyone back? No. The thruple chick. Damn. I'm down bad. Alright, let's complete all my shit. So I think now we did the poster. Um this all those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment oh it just needs some screws oh my god that animal's living in the walls hey you in there i'm coming back tomorrow with febreze and a broom okay so then. consider yourself warned <laughs> what the fuck was that? All right. Um. Not weird. It releases. If we don't have new releases, what do we have? Nine seven. Oh my god! All these are so outdated. Who listens to 1790s at a record store? Oh my god, hell no. That's crazy. It's throwback time. Oh shit, here we go. Go, 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 go. KRCT, Steph here. Hey, are you the psychic? Really? Oh, the girlfriend? Yeah, that's her. You predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. Uh, what the shit? Let's go with that. It was obvious. Can I even cuss on the radio? You know what? For the sake of filling some airtime, sure. I'm a psychic. I foretell shit. That's so cool. Hey, yo. Okay, so my best friend for basically my whole life, Tara, and I both got into CU. But then I got into UC, which is my dream school. 
I know I'm always supposed to follow my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. She's my rock. That's... Oh Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? Didn't we just go over this? Are you going to help me or not? Oh, God. Okay. Just give me a second. Damn. How do I tell this girl's future? <laughs> what is this game, man? <laughs> All right. What am I going to tell this girl? Oof. A six is not great news. So, what's my prediction? Mortal enemies, college dropout. Let's go there. Okay. I think I've got something for you. Ready? Yes. Okay. The good news is that you and Tara will definitely keep up your relationship. It's just that instead of best friends, you become mortal enemies. What? Why? Music festival, Misha, literally. It happens over one weekend at Coachella. First, you forget her ticket in the car and she misses her favorite band. Then you find her in the VIP section and she pretends she doesn't know you. That's cold. Yep. By night, you can't even sleep in the same tent together. From then on, you are music festival foes, ready to throw down if ever your dance paths should cross again. Damn. All right. That's all I got. Hope it wasn't too brutal. It was rough, but I think it'll help prepare me for the bumpy roads ahead. Thanks, Steph. <laughs> okay. Don't, ever, don't even mention it. Yo, you're doing great. Give me a call towards the end of your show to you for a debrief. Uh, thanks. I'll just finish up whatever I want to do and then call Gabe. Okay. Um, let's see. What else? What am I missing? Uh, use the computer to play auto D. Oh my God. Did, did I? Oh. This is Haven's number one indie. Yeesh. Looks like I got here just in time. Uh, uh, to whom it may concern, I appreciate that Heaven has its disposable resources, a special care. Now, my t not every town can boost its own independent radio station. However, your progr programming is a lot to be desired. On Saturday, during what was supposed to be your classic rock band, you play Lonesome Ranch three times in a row. Lonesome Ranch is not a class. Oh my god. Okay, th this guy, I that guy's weird. I have no clue what I'm doing, but the good news is. Maybe no one is listening anyway. <laughs> Damn. Um, okay. We all ads is very unlucky, but some folks might call in. Okay, I think um uh, I think that's it. All right, what are we supposed Eventually, to I'll need to get back in the booth. What? A dog trio. Okay. Um, I think uh, that should be it, right? What do you mean eventually I have to go back in the booth? I was, <laughs> I was literally just there. Oh, call Gabe. Oh, shit. I'll just finish up whatever I want to do and then call Gabe. Um, how do I even do that? I did see that there was an option to check on my phone here. Oh, there we go. <gasps> I should have turned off my mic. Oh, I did. Okay, thank God. Uh oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Am I caller number 12? Dude, this job you got me. It's great. Turns out it's like four jobs simultaneously. And I'm qualified for maybe three quarters the of one. The mic is still on. <laughs> Why did I let you convince me to bullshit my way through that interview? <sighs> Uh, you know you're on the air, right? <laughs> I knew it. 
<laughs> well. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Avoid situations like these with puttoworkcolorado.com. Elevate your job prospects today. <laughs> I knew it, dude. Rough first day, huh? Never lean on your shit, dude. I wonder if I could have avoided that if uh, I pressed the button. Kind Haven listeners, today is the last day of June, and that means we've got one more day Whoa. to celebrate Pride. Hey, yo. One of my favorite promotions this month. Contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% off the Silver Dragon Dispensary. I'm told this discount is participation-based and will not depend on artistic ability. But, just in case, here's how you draw a rainbow. Start drawing a circle, then stop. More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. It's me, answering your calls in just a few minutes. Too damn hot to be. What's it called? Talking. Oh shit, here we go. What is she gonna pass out? Heat's no excuse. Hey, you're live. What can I do you for? Hey, uh, well, I think I might have screwed up pretty big with my son. Oh, okay. What happened? Ah, uh, you're gonna think I'm a real jerk. But my boy Grady sat me down yesterday and he... I guess the term you'd use mm. is, he came out to me, and I could have handled it a lot better than I did. Shouldn't you talk to Gary about this? What does, what does that mean? Well, I don't know if a fake radio psychic is who you need to be talking to right now. No, you misunderstand. I don't want a reading. Anyway, he loves your show listens to it religiously and I thought maybe I could put in a song request on his behalf Aww. just so he knows I hear him and I love him you're good dad uh, this won't make it better what hey everybody screws up sometimes that's so weird man. why would you go that I'm option I'm proud of you for trying to make it better that's very kind of you just you bother. maybe try to be on board from now on Having a queer kid is an absolute blessing. I wish more dads acted like it. Yeah, for sure. What's the track? It's Feelings by Haley Kyoko. Haley Kyoko. Grady played Kyoko. it for me right before he tried to talk to me. He said it was meaningful to him. Mm. All right. Let me see if I can dig it up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Pretty sure we've got that record somewhere in the back room. Oh my god, I already forgot about it. Girls? I think it's this one? That's not it. Three blood streams? That's not it. Green. Girls? Girls in red? That's not it. Um... Um, I'll get the hey, record. Steph, your pals at Smolder have noticed you're having a massive dry spell on account of you live in fucking nowhere, Colorado. Would you like to expand your dating radius? Oh my god. Get the record. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, maybe it was right there. Wait, get the record. 
Oh god, I'm not gonna find the record. <laughs> Where's the record? Time to deliver good music. From the storage room to the masses. Gotta be over here, right? Um. Yo, how am I supposed to find this? Oh no. Oh no. I'm legit going to forget what it, it was called. Riggy. Pride. Rock. Drums. Holding list. Oh, here we go. Star Room. Oh, God. That was close. Oh, new spot. Yo, what's up, Carl? Sweet. Okay, let's see. What did you think about that game? Great. That guy's request is locked in here. And instead of a combo, I have four drawings. Oh, God. Dear future Dave, we had it to change the lock combo, so past Dave wouldn't slosh Irish cream. All hey, yo, here's a hint ghost star eye ice cream. Ask Ashley and Luke and oh, God. Well, those drawings were meant to be a hint. Oh, my God, I already Maybe forgot. Maybe I can guess the combination. There are only a hundred gajillion possibilities. Okay, ghost, demon, ghost, demon. What would be a fucking ghost? Uh, this. Now, star. What? <laughs> what number is a fucking star? <laughs> four, maybe. I think it's four. I zero. Nine. Boom. Easy done. Wrong combo. Fuck. Shocker. Currently downloading Life is Strange before the storm right now. It was pretty good. I liked it. It's definitely super cringy. That was like my main problem with it. But also for a remastered game it was kind of buggy and shit. But I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's a. Uh, it's weird. But it was cool. For when it was released. Oh my god, how am I supposed to figure this out? Maybe six? Six represents devil shit, right? What's this one? Damn. Maybe I should go grab all those records. Oh god. Oh god. What are you talking about? What am I supposed to do? I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna just look it up. <laughs> That's too complicated. I don't like complicated stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna look Maybe it up. Maybe I okay. can I guess care. the combination. I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. There are only a hundred gajillion I'm possibilities. Gonna I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Life is strange. Life is strange. True colors. DLC code. I don't care. I don't care. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look it up. Of course, I have to fucking do all this shit just to get this fucking gold. Where's the motherfucking gold? Worry, 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 worry. Yes, 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 yes. W fucking finessing. Uh. <laughs> that's how much I hate puzzle games, dude. <laughs> I'm not willing to deal with all that bullshit anymore. I've learned my lesson. Hours of recording wasted. Just because I have to do all these puzzles. Fuck. This is getting me nowhere. Shut up. Finally. Oh, no she goes. Let's go. Get on with my day. Let's go, baby. Oh, awesome. Here it is. I think I'm really excited this for... This Grady kid has good taste. Damn, who's that? I think I'm excited for True Colors, but I still got to get my hands on that game. Gotta get it before the steam cell goes away. Dude. I'm not trying to. Um. 
you have consoles you probably want steam uh, steam achievements right because true colors if uh i think playstation if you get the uh the, i think the second membership the mid-tier membership yeah i want to get it on steam oh, okay i was about to say if you get it the membership for playstation the mid one uh it's free that's literally how i'm playing this game but this is the dlc i already i, I paid for this one oh here we go i can finally get back in the booth and play this record if anyone still cares you're telling me a fucking mouse was making all that noise oh hell no Whoa! <laughs> Damn. Need to make sure I've read all three ads today. I got a, I got a, uh, Fourth of July tournament now selling popsicles bar crawl. Okay. KRCT is brought to you in part by our sponsors at the Black Lantern. It's been a brutally hot summer, so visit the Lantern and escape the heat with popsicles yeah new popsicles the kiddos can stain their tongues purple while you enjoy a round of darts and a cold one and if that's not enough to get you in the door i put a little bit of a oh fuck um uh i think it was this the upcoming fourth of july pool tournament will all are welcome to come play and lose money to ducky hit up the black lantern today and tell him Steph sent you. Dang, I'm blowing up today. Should probably answer that call. Thanks for calling got? in. You're on with Steph. Yo, yo, what up? New girlfriend. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what can I predict for you? Hey, yo. I'm in serious need of some divine foresight. And having my first girlfriend over for dinner with my parents next week. Oh, uh, scary stuff. Big moment. Dang. Big moment. Are your knees weak? Palms sweaty? <laughs> I feel like I'm about to throw up. Don't be yes. fucking reference. What I can fuck? see why a prediction is in order. Yeah, so if you could just tell me that dinner goes perfectly, that'd be great. I will consult with Mother Fate. Be right back. And by Mother Fate, I mean my D20. Okay, let's see. Let's set her up for... Oof. Three? That's really not great. Oh, God. All right. Moment of truth. I don't want to give this kid bad news, but... I don't want to get her hopes up either. Come on, I mean, the D20 predicts disaster. Dinner is disappointing. Dinner goes up in smoke. Um, dinner goes up in smoke, dinner is this- Ah, fuck it, let's go that one. I'm getting an image of this family dinner. Okay... I'm seeing your family dinner go up in smoke. Crap, really? Literally, in fact, the meal gets burnt, smoking heavily and setting off your smoke alarms. Not to be defeated, your parents- Order Chinese, go for ice cream. Let's go. Chinese Order is Chinese food. A delicious spread of General So's chicken and stir-fried vegetables saves the evening. And the fire alarm provides a good icebreaker. My girlfriend loves Chinese food. Hey, let's go. You can still taste fortune cookie on her lips when she kisses you goodnight. Whoa, what <laughs> lips? Holy hey, crap, yo. am I actually excited for this now? That's the spirit. Thanks for your call. Maybe now I can start a new show. I'll call it the Dateless Dating Advisor. Uh. Well, well, since we're dateless, let's get on. <laughs> Who is that? Whoa. Uh, uh, oh, well, nice. I just remember. I'm glad you're part of the game. Uh... All right. Let's get let's get some uh, punani. Violet, gay, punk, all other punk. Yeah, love it. Fuck, she didn't match. Nurse? Oh, God. 
This user has an N38 tagline. Uh, FS. Watch comedian and bad hair and worse jokes. Oh god, get out of here. Oh god, man, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I'll heal you. I'll heal for you if you tank for me. Oh, <laughs> dude, yo, I don't know. I don't know. She might be cool. Need that. Yes. Oh. Ah. Just here to get to know people and make new friends. Oh yeah, I'm in there, baby. Fuck, oh, she's match. Uh, oof. Our pass. Oh, I've been told I smell like a new book. Yeah, want that. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Need. <laughs> Even that. if I had the money, I know a sucker's bet when I see one. All right, just bought true colors. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, you, you, should, uh, you should record that, man. You should uh, upload that. That would be cool. I would definitely tune in for, for that stuff. It, you know, it's a little different uh wait for her to make the first move start come on come on we're in there get me in hmm. there what kind of opener do i want to use do not mention anything about shrek <laughs> she probably gets that a shit ton a sample high digging the sword heads up i fall for theater girls <sighs> you know what let's do it my pov if i was to say anything the sword fire sword Let's see if let's see if I could get there. Maybe honestly, dude, you should. Not gonna lie, the buffer sword clinched it for me. Uh oh, you're a rare precious breathe. It. Whoa, okay. Alright, I think we're in there. You're not the first person to tell me that. Shot in the dark, but do you play TTRPGs? What the fuck is that? Uh mostly fantasy. I used to really like, um, <coughs> I used to really, oh, Jesus Christ. I used to really, oh my God. I used to really into, I used to be really into kingdoms of, of, and ca ca caverns, good old fashioned elf and wizard stuff, you know, as a classic for a reason, bingo, but used to, it's been a minute since I played. Oh my God. Forgot to respond. Ah, uh, fuck it. Ah, uh, bummer. Think you'd ever get back into it? I'm in. <laughs> With you? <laughs> oh, shit. Fucking scared me. Uh, Well, hey, if you ever need a playmate, I'm your girl. That um, I didn't mean like... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean it in like a sexy way. Okay. I think we're in there. Rip her a little. Reassure her. Yeah, let's rip her a little. Let's see, if she, let's see if she can handle it. You didn't? You sure? Yes. I mean, not that I don't think you're pretty. I do. Yo, you're messing up my Riz game, dude. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yo, let me read. You did. You. You didn't. You. Oh my god. You didn't sure? Yes, I mean, no, that I don't think you're pretty. I do. I just mean, I wasn't trying to, like, uh, hello, holy shit. You, you are flustered as fuck. I'm sorry. I was just messing with you. Uh, oh, hello. Yeah, of course. It's cool. So, Haven Springs kind of out of the band. Uh, boonies, huh? Population only like uh, 11,000 or 1,000 men. How do you know more about Haven than uh, I do? Hello, it's called the internet. Sorry, it's a habit. Of mine i go do uh, down rabbit holes um okay a little a little weird but all right uh let's see how many open uh, browser tabs don't dig don't dig too deep is she bad uh let me uh can i pull it up uh it's fiona this chick oh man you know you know you know, not bad. You know, just change the color a little bit. Uh, hair color, make it orange. Mwah. <laughs> uh, she is a hey, I'm Fiona, and I'm a big bisexual dork. Dude, I don't know. I, me personally, goofy. Wow, beautiful. Uh, 
uh, on Theater Kid Podcast Enthusiast, a g- gigantic tabletop gaming fan. Yo, I don't know. I like that type of stuff. Um, let's see. Where was I? Uh, sorry to have you I down rebel host. Do you, uh, so without checking, do you know if uh, you have more than 10 open browser tabs? Oh God, I called out. It's probably more than like 50. God damn. Do you hate that? I know it's weird. Nope, weird is good. Exactly. If anything, not weird is a deal breaker for me. Uh, okay, lucky me. That's not even the full extent of my weirdness. Okay, so back to Haven Springs. Have you thought about maybe moving to Denver? No offense. Dude, I was gonna, but I'm being stubborn. I lost a bit. Let's go there. I don't know. I came here because I wanted to change, and now I feel like I have to prove to myself that it was a good idea. Okay, fine, but you should at least come visit. <laughs> Damn. You think? Absolutely. Denver isn't perfect, but I think you'll have a good time, and I'll be excited to meet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm in there. No, thanks. All right, or I feel like all right is a conversation killer or a conversation ender. Let's see if it's a haven. I don't know. She might not like that or hear me out. You could come visit haven. It's not as bad as you think. We've got a record store, a dope little bar and an indie movie theater and people that are rad. That sounds kind of fun, actually. Oh, shit. Except I'm sort of uh, in this play right now. We open this weekend run for the next three. <laughs> I'm kind of busy for a while. Hey, that's sick. Break a leg. Haha, <laughs> thank you. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting the Dodger vibes. Well, then I'll come to Denver maybe later then. Hmm. That didn't work, so let's go in there. She looks flat to be honest. Dude. <laughs> okay, well, if only. Uh, only way I get to hang with you, I guess I'm coming to the event. Really, you don't mind? Now it'll be good times while I'm so excited. That's it. I can't. I can't talk anymore. Five head, yo! You guys are on demon time. No way. Oh my god. <laughs> Five head. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it since I already played all the first one and then making video on one of the other games. They're not related. Yeah, uh, the games aren't related. Our true colors is not related to uh, Life is Strange, the first one. Okay, let's see. Who else? Let's see. I got offered a threesome with this chick. Um, damn, I think she left me on red. Ah, fuck. Uh, and I think uh, this is bot. Who is this? Do I want to kick things off or leave it to them? Oh my god. Uh, don't have time. Let's see what else. Uh, so we talked about the Black Lantern, the Rocky Mountain Gazette. For this ad, please highlight that RMG is a local paper and covers topics that actually impact life in Haven. We are de- dedicated to serving the Haven community and no story is too small. Okay, so newspaper fuckers. All right. Let's take a quick ad break, kind Haven listeners. It was pretty Are ass? Are you tired of only getting news about big towns far away? What? Then you must not be reading the Rocky Mountain Gazette. The RMG's reporters are so local. They're in your apartment. You're eating with one. Let's go with that. That you. That one's friendly. That yes, one's friendly. you are eating lunch with one right now. And you didn't even know it. And as locals, these reporters uh, care about what you care about. See everything. Let's go there. See everything. They see they, that both graffiti too. Were dope as well. Story-wise, they they're amazing. It. They see those potholes too, and they'll cover it. And that unsolicited dick pic you just sent. Yeah. Okay. They saw that too. I think this might be bad. If you <laughs> want world-class, fair journalism, look no farther than your own backyard, the Rocky Mountain Gazette. All right. Yeah, dude. Like uh, the first one and uh, the second one were so amaz- uh, amazing. Oh man, uh, True Colors and the second Life is Strange were so dope. 
um, especially if you don't know anything about them. And like I said, they're all different. They're not really in the same universe. Okay, this week I was thinking, what if we did an ad as if it was a no radio drama? I don't have a full story for it, so you can just make something up. But I want it to be about aliens evading Haven and ice cream somehow saves the day. Steph, uh, please just put, uh, please just be yourself and mention the flavor selection and our ongoing BOGO Sunday. All right. And now a message from our sponsors. Let's hit radio for drama. Shoot straight. The quality folks at Avalanche Ice Cream know just how much Haven Springs loves ice cream. Haven loves ice cream so much that Avalanche has... Uh, 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 uh. A BOGO deal on cones, cups, and shakes every Sunday. Bring all your kids, but only pay for half of them. That's Avalanche Ice Cream. Best treats this side of the Rockies. That was the last thing I needed to do on the radio. I still have to pack up the pride decorations, though. Before we do that, let's see, any more matches? Uh, Kai, Kobe. Ah, uh, that sucks. So, oh, did you like uh, any normal? Okay, just. Uh, I feel like I'm going insane, Gabe. So, are you going to play with Johan, Charlotte? Why not? Okay. Guess when I'm done procrastinating, <gasps> I'll go get that box ready to hold the decorations. Did someone actually make the first move? Oh my god. Oh my god, is this one? Oh god. Of the punks, uh, hopeless romantic. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 I'm stuck in the ski, uh, bro. How someone please come save my ass? Oh yeah, we're in there. What do you what do you gotta say? Best video on Nasty's album go what? Quiz best video nastiest album the popular record the let's go underground i think that's the best way <laughs> it's gonna sound super pretentious but they have they recorded a seven inch back before they signed a couple of lies and bad intentions now nah, but good pull it's super it got a super dumb name don't shoot the messenger the monster is kind of also named frankenstein if you think about it Super dumb name, but accurate. Um, what do you do? It's a little too, uh, a little, it's a little too professional. <laughs> Let's uh, go here. I set myself up for that one. Oh, God. I just won't mention the town. So, lifelong col Colorado or fellow transparent, lifelong baby. Oh, please don't kick me out. I have to discuss it with the count. <laughs> I was discussing with the Council of Colorado Lesbians, but you seem I get to have someone in my corner. You, uh, Oregon. Oh my God. How am I supposed to know that? Um, I mean, I like Washington, so let's do that. Moved here from Seattle. Did you hang out with Kurt Cobain? Yeah, sorry. His ghost haunted me. My old apartment. We were bros. Sorry, that's literally like all I know about Seattle. It's cool city worth. Wait, what is he? Is he from there? But not worth staying. Not for me anyway. Gosh, you're super fun to talk to. Ashi, I'm doing that thing I do again. Oh, doing what? You're also fun too. Hmm. Should we play around with that or move on? Let's go direct. What thing do you do? How often do you find yourself doing it? Uh, well, like getting into people, developing an unresolved, unres uh, powerful crush on someone within minutes and meeting them literally all the time. I guess it's only fair to give you a heads up. You're not the first person to have done this. It is the thing with me. If you can't hang with that, I absolutely get it. Get it. Just let me know and I'll try to dial it back. Dial it back. Dude, come on. Yo, get me in there. I think I can hang with that. Aren't super intense crushes kind of point of this app? You sure? I don't want to scare you off. Crush away. 
party a hereby consent to be crushed upon to whatever degree of insensitive party oh hey what are you Denver pride uh so i don't have to drive in also work all the time so i miss oh my god good fun uh but <laughs> yo why are they going so fast good fun oh but not like that fun definitely overrated you didn't miss anything you're making it worse it's okay i literally forgot what they were talking about so <laughs> let's do that not helping would it help if i give you a commoner bottle opener i got from the beer truck that depends how body bad body body is it and how rainbow is it extremely both then yes that would help i mean you know pride is pride the parts that rule rule the part that sucks suck hey yo <laughs> tell me the parts that ruled and tell me the parts that suck get me in there baby let's see let's see let's see if she returns that that energy i could probably guess what sucked but tell me anyway that's unusual you know overpriced beer this sunburn uh oh my god the no weed rule uh car companies suddenly pretend to care about uh folks same stuff that sucks every year still it was nice you know uh it sounds nice I should probably go get ready for work. It's been super cool getting to know you. Too bad you live so far away. It's like, what, two hours from here to Heaven Springs? Ask her out, say goodbye? Yo, asking her out is kind of desperate. I'm desperate. Let's go for it. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. If you want to grab a coffee sometime, I'll find a way to make it down. I'd really like that. Sure, you don't mind. By the way, we are uh, inheritors of legacy of lonely uh, gays driving hours to meet up with one and the, another. That is, this is my duty to those who can come. Oh my God. Your reverence for our noble heritage has inspired me. If you prefer, I don't mind driving up to Haven. Ooh, okay. Um... I think, um, I think if we drive up to her, that's not going to be an option, but if she drives down to us, that might be an option. So, you know, for real, then you should totally visit Haven Rose. I think you'll like it here. Okay. Then it's a date. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't, I don't know. I didn't think she was going to take that. You know, I asked her out and she's driving all the way down here. Fuck it. I'm just that fucking bitch, dude. Um, let's see. I bet you've seen your fair share of bad haircuts. Haven't you? Okay, what are we... What? Pack up the pride decorations. Okay. Uh, where is it? This place looks great. Holy shit, it's already 9.30. Oh my god. I thought I had so much more time. All good things must come to an end, which means every pride decoration must come down. Izzy bought this for my kitchen table. Cheers. You look happy. Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case. So what Fuck. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even just for one weekend. Yeah. Eventually, I'll get this hanging over my drum set again. So what, they were hiding it? Happy Friday, Seattle! Real quick, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight to support the LGBTQIA youth shelter. Also, 
I just want to say, holy shit, you all have made this the best pride ever. Literally ever. All right. <laughs> That's cool. We have one more. This song is called Compton Cafeteria. One, two, three, four. I love these so much. Our lettering was on point. Isn't it weird? The event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon. And spending way too much money. And meeting cool people. And recharging my entire soul. Word. All right. Signs are dry. Let's go. Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. Okay. People are always afraid to take the ones Chloe made. Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for one month out of the year. Ugh, I know. <laughs> Come on. It's hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo into a rainbow. We're committed to hassling everyone, straight or gay. Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card holders? <laughs> I'm gonna go mess with her. No, don't. Chloe, I swear to God. Chloe? Wait, 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 Oh, is that chick? Oh shit, it's the, the chick from the first one. What? Every time I look at this, I feel part of something. It was kind of fire. I Why like do we celebrate? Why is it so important? For generations, we have had to live in hiding or reject who we are in order to protect ourselves. To this day, queer people live in fear. That is why we celebrate, to show the world that we exist and that we are not ashamed. We are proud. Just having the courage to be here, to be yourself in this world, that is an act of rebellion, of resistance. I want to be her. Same. Guess that's everything, but the flag on the front door. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh. There's so many flags. I have no idea what any of these mean. Gender queer pride, bi pride, pan pride, lesbian pride, uh, bear pride, I think. I look like a normie. I should have worn something cooler. Stephanie, you look just like a 14-year-old homo at your first pride, just like everyone else here once was, and they all think you're adorable. You don't need to try. You're exactly where you belong. Damn. What the hell am I doing here? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like, in the, the, the main game, um, I wasn't really pushing that. <laughs> pushing, uh, what's the word? <laughs> the sexuality like that? Like, from, from the game, it seemed like she was a, like a straight girl, and then we, you know, we raised her up. But, from the DLC, and this takes pa place in the past, uh, she wasn't really about it. Steph? You know you can talk to me, right? About anything. If there was something to talk about... It's just... You haven't been yourself lately. You're working crazy hours, dodging calls. We're your family. We're here for you, you know?
citizens of Haven, do not touch those dials. I have a jam-packed show for you going all night long. Of course, I'll keep playing you the dopest music in all the land. Of course, I'll answer your calls and your futures. And, of course, I'll update you on the saga of the record store Devil Cat and my futile attempts to tame her savage heart. But first... Hey, yo. Mikey. But first, another hey, track. Why would you call me at work, dude? Come on, man. Okay, work mode, go. No ads, sound effects. Sometimes, this thing is the only reason I come to work. <laughs> like, this? <laughs> oh my god. I forgot I had that shit. Oh god. <laughs> okay, uh... Whoa! Yes, it hurts. Need it. Whoa! Stretchable? Need it. Uh. Not gonna lie, kind of basic. Get me out of there. Get me out of there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Need that. Keep going. Oh! This one seems like a just a fun time, so need that. Um, no. Yeah. Uh, low key disability activist, high key homosexual. I don't know why I need it. Oh yeah, I need it. Fuck you, app. Oh god. Yeah, reach your swipe of the day. One more chance to give a special someone. So sixteen ninety nine. Oh my god, it got me fucked up. <gasps> yes! They're messaging motherfucking me this time. Alright, let's see. Tori? Get it together, Steph. Best foot forward. Uh, fuck it. Man, what do I even say? Actually, forget it. Ask about her hair, uh, her music. I mean, if she loves it, then she would be dope with it. If she gets annoyed, then she doesn't love it. Oh god, you're gonna think I'm pretentious. Try me. It's like part, part way between EDM and experimental bedroom synth pop. Okay. Wait, nothing's wrong with that. Whatever, that sounds right as hell. Uh, thank you. I'm playing it in featuring Collins next weekend. You should come. What if I cared about Morgan all weekend? Hey, can I ask you something? Shoot. You used to be in a band. Yeah, come on. Uh, I was for a while, yeah. I thought so. Two-piece kind of punky kind of alt. Drugstore makeup. That's it. Oh shit, I saw y'all in, in Atomic Decay. That's crazy. What are the odds? Oh, fan Riz? <laughs> uh, what were you doing in this? Uh, Y'all were good? Okay, okay. Some basic conversations. I like an immediate crush on your guitarist. Ah. Ouch. Yeah, let's be straight up. <laughs> That's a weird thing to tell me after matching with me on dating app. Oh, no. So, I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything by it. Uh, it's fine. I'm mostly my baggage, not yours, Izzy. And now we're kind of together-ish. Now we're kind of not. So it just kind of feels weird for someone to say they had a crush on her while wow. uh, flirting with me, I guess. I get it. I get it. No worries. So what are you up these days? No more ban. Okay. Yeah, I get to force my music taste down everyone's throat, <laughs> which is pretty sick. The dream. Well, I should get go. Oh, God. It was cool to talk to you. Your band was really good. Say goodbye. Ask her out. Yeah, yeah, she's not into it. Deuces. Um, damn. You did what to your, uh, you did 
you, yo, did you still want to chat later, stuff? All right, well, I guess I'm assuming came up, hit me up when you get this. Been a few days, you okay, dude? You got it. Oh my god, my throat is fucking shot. D, you got me kind of worried, and I really want to talk to you, especially since tomorrow is well, you know what tomorrow is. Hit me up. Well, it says to do. Uh, why is it ripped? Why is it rip? Oh, the cat. Please mention. Also coming to live. Oh, God. Kind Haven listeners, by now you've heard me talk about everything the Black Lantern is famous for. Great food, great beer, great service, and great atmosphere. So what are you waiting for? One more reason to go? Then consider... Oh, oh, happy hour, dinner hour. Dinner hour? Um, don't worry. You can still get dinner outside of that one hour. But yeah, dinner hour at the Lantern, it's the best. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, you can now look forward to... Live music, live losses. Yeah, music. Live music on Monday evenings. Or maybe Sunday evenings? If you show up on Sunday and there's no music, that's how you'll know it's on Monday. Drop by today and tell them Steph sent you. Oh, God. Dude, this is basically hey, like... you're on the air with Steph. Radio station simulator. Hey. All right. Um, thanks for taking my call. Don't thank me yet. What can I predict you for? Well, I don't know. I'm out here for a three-week stay in the Firewatch Tower outside of town. I was actually just kind of hoping to chat with someone. Um, okay. Got any tips for staying mentally healthy inside a tiny little booth? Asking for a friend. What can I say? I'm a level 90 loner. <laughs> How about yourself? <laughs> Probably closer to, oh, like, level 10. I'm about to turn All straight. right, fireman. Since this is still a fortune-telling show, how about this? You can tell me my fortune. <laughs> well, I'm no radio psychic, but I'll do my best. What would you like to know? What are the odds I end up being alone forever? Hmm, okay. Is this a fear or an aspiration? Um, well, it's the natural endpoint of my current trajectory, and I guess if I'm going to end up there, I want it to at least be on purpose. I don't have a crystal cootie catcher or whatever to look into, but I can tell you this. Getting away from everyone is the easy part. Sometimes it's even too easy. Yeah, this guy's cool, man. Don't feel easy. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know all about that. I thought you might. So I learned this the hard way, but the idea of being alone can be a lot more enticing than the reality. And too often, the people who want to be alone real bad, they're the ones who end up calling into radio shows just to hear a stranger's <laughs> voice. But that wasn't yeah. really a fortune, was it? Ah, you got me. I'll have to do better next time. Thanks for the chat. And thank you for listening to KRCT. I wonder if that's um, that dude. Um, what's his name? Same shit, different day. Uh, let's see. Grimley's. Grimley's Auto Park is the most trusted name and probably serving him is for pricing on shirts. Shirts? Shirts? Body changes? Oh, God. I don't know. KRCT is proudly sponsored by Grimley's uh, Auto. Auto repairs? No, that's my repairs. <sighs> Grimley's Auto Repairs. Haven Springs' my most name trusted Mud. name in automotive <laughs> service. Let's talk about Grimley's record. They've proudly served our community for. Uh, a long time. The love of it. Our community for the love. Ah, oh, fuck it. The love of the game. Which game? The car game. 
the community game, name a game. They love it. And that's why they're in this business. Oh my gosh. So if a... you or someone you love is a car, what? you owe it to yourself to check out Grimley's. <laughs> Y'all, she's just chatting. I've been told that. Uh, my weird grim dude, Avalanche, I fucking hate these fuckers. Weird gimmicks don't bring customers into the store, so I guess we're playing this one straight. Long and short of it, we're open on Halloween. We're giving out free cons to customers who buy what? Here's an offer from our most loyal sponsors, Avalanche Ice Cream. The most annoying ones. Uh, open on Halloween. Avalanche will be open on Halloween. So, if mom stuffs a coat under your princess dress, know that you can swing by Avalanche and stick your sweaty face in the freezer. They'll be giving out free cones to anyone. In costume, who does the monster? Oh, God. Um, fuck it. Who wears a costume? So, you know, dust off that Dracula cape and sink your fangs into a scoop of black forest cherry. Anyway, check it out. Still got chores to do in the store. Better head out there. All right, what are we doing? Same shit, different day. Uh, okay. I stuck the chore list on my laptop. Ooh. Let's see what still needs doing. Yo, Fiona. Fresh goodies. Fiona's Time hitting my fucking home. line. This is what it's come to. Bright. Let's see, what is she talking about? <laughs> um, nothing major. Can't get. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't know. About all that, still pretty rusty, but it was fun. Well, thank you. You're like a really good GM, you know? Wait, what? When we play K and C on Saturday, you fudged the rules. That oh, we were meeting up people already. Whoa. How dare you? Okay, yeah, a little, but only because you would have totally eaten shit. Well, thank you. Hey, I don't know about all that. Still pretty rusty, but it was fun. If the opportunity arises, hey, just plug in you. To make sure you see, sorry to bug you. I just want to know if, uh, if I should make other plans. You must be busy maybe next weekend. Hey, shit, sorry. Yeah, it's kind of crazy over here. Try it for next week. Sure. Hey, are we still on for this weekend? Hey, I got a flake. I'm sorry. Okay. Yo, Steph, what is she doing, dude? She's fumbling. Can I ask what's up? Nothing major. Just getting coverage at work. Okay, hit me up when you have some time. Definitely. Hey, stranger. I know it's been a minute, but I need some of the quality staff advice today. Audition for production at a Christmas Carol. The company is super experimental and weird. So like maybe they'll do something cool with the girls, but there are like zero cool roles for women. I don't know. Go for it. Pass it up. Yeah, go for it, dude. You love theater. Go for it, man. Like what? Sure, why not? I don't know. Like I really wanted to work with this company for a minute, but I really don't want to be the super Heteronormative? Oh my god, what is this terms? Girl who broke Scrooge's heart thing? Maybe if I could be one of the ghosts, it would be different. I think I'd make a pretty good ghost. You'd make a good ghost of Christmas future. You'd make a good pass. What the fuck was that? Uh, present. Let's see. Is this gonna work? Oh, <laughs> well, you think I look good in a fake beard? I don't know, Christmas present is the cheers of the three. Guess I'm just in the mood for some little levity. Oh, gee, sorry to hear you're, you're feeling less than cheery. Hope you're okay. Well, I got folks coming over game night in a minute, so I gotta hop off. Talk to you later, of course. All right. Oh, my God, dude. <sighs> I'm working, might be on on and off tonight but i'll check in when i can okay so i just got home from like the worst day uh, what she was just immediately disengaged from the moment i sat down she made out contact with me like one time she asked if i was a if i was a gold star what how's that any of her business thank you anyway the whole night i kept thinking yeah so are we friend zones why do you care about this then 
Thinking about how much dating sucks and how lucky how lucky we got how lucky we got when we met each other. I don't know. How maybe we should like have the what are we conversation? So what are we Steph? Hey, I'm so sorry. I just been swamped lately. I kinda got overwhelmed. I shouldn't have just disappeared like that. You just suddenly got busy? Right. When I tried to have a conversation with you about a relationship, is it true it's more complicated? I know it's how it sounds, but true. I need to unplug for a while. I should have told you. Okay, well, we're here now. So what's your answer? What are we, Steph? What? Dude, she, oh my God. She's literally talking about other dates. Let's go in there, man. Let's have fun. I like you a lot, V. And what you're looking for right now is like something partnery. I want to have that conversation, really. I wouldn't say if I didn't mean it, then why does it feel wrong? That if you manage it, maybe... It wasn't because of what I said, and maybe it was, but either way, things got scary in your head. That's not fair. Come on, let's, you know, get in there. And I'm sorry, but V, that wasn't about you, okay? You know that, right? I don't think it matters what it was about, how long until something else happens and you're gone, how long will I have to sit around wondering? This isn't what I want. I don't think we should t talk for a while. I hope you figure out some shit. Me too. All right, deuces. Well, that was, uh, that was weird. I knew a staff in high school. She was like the most consistently positive, cheerful person. Sounds annoying. Sounds appealing. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> that sounds nice. I could use somebody like that. I'm like, right. I don't have it in me. That's why I got to keep the cheery ones around so I can suck up their cheer. Like those sucker fish that attract themselves to the side of sharks. Oh, I love those things. Okay, fine. No more glim. Tell me one thing again. I recently rediscovered my childhood love for paleontology. A dinosaur really... Oh my god. This game is too much, man. <laughs> really come popular and be loved by my peers. Yes, yeah, so much has changed since we were kids. So uh, you return something you feel good about. My job won't get ready and it's fun. I was faking my way through it and I spent most of the time hiding in a tiny dark closet. Face to face and everyone keeps asking me for advice and I'm like remotely qualified. Well, they kind of spotted out of there. Okay, I think it's about time for me to mosey. Good talk though. This one from... Damn. Oh, their kid kind of spiraled out there, I think. Um, yeah, deuces. What the fuck was that? That's fucked up. Whoa, you're cute. Damn, you should come to Widow's Walk. How much have you had to drink? What's the Widow's Walk? bar uh -huh. Uh -huh. she's fucked up <laughs> yeah get me in there really no probably not <laughs> dang i'm gonna go do you usually drink and swipe oh well i think we should probably cut this short get home safe I live around the corner. It's okay. I'm genuinely relieved to hear that. All right. Let's see. Fiona, the. Oh. What does that mean? Oh my god. I bet a minute. I need some of the. Oh. Um. Yeah, of course. Hey, Steph, I'm so sorry. Please don't be mad. Damn it, Fiona. I know you were just trying to help, but why couldn't you just mind your own business? Whatever's going on, uh, I'm sure we can talk about it. Uh, well, I've been really lonely in Haven, and I thought, I, I don't know uh, if I knew what happened in Acadia Bay. Fuck. I wasn't trying to pry. I just wanted to help, but then I was seeing all this stuff. That was really none of my business. No wonder this time of year is rough for you. Wait, what? 
Shit, I guess you know why I'm so fucked up right now. Are you okay? I have no idea. I would love to say yes, but what could you do? I'm so sorry, stuff. Well, I don't really know what to say. Maybe the only fair thing to do is to tell you that, that I don't know how to deal with something like this, how to help you. Maybe you can't. You can't. Oh, that's what I'm trying to say. Are you breaking up with me? Damn. I don't think so, or maybe, I don't know. Damn, that's raps then. It's just that you know me. I'm good at being someone's emotional anchor. I'm scared of everything and I'm bad at pretending to be strong. <clears throat> maybe right now I'm not what you need and maybe that's the nicest thing I can do for you is to be honest about that. Please take care of yourself stuff. Oh god. This shit is stressful. Alright, get me out of here. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Let's see what I have left. Oh, good. All of it. Show comics around listening station. You know, trash in the back room. Shove new albums in the front of the CD requested by Andy Sino. Right. Just a few chores left. Fuck, is there a safe place? Because holy shit. This shit is long, man. I'm I'm tired. <laughs> it's almost two hours long. You're on with Steph. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I need your help. I'm in trouble with HR. What did you do? I screwed up. I was chatting with my coworker about the gym. We were talking about leg day, and she said she wanted to work more on her lower body. Here it comes. What did you say? I said her butt was fine as is, and she shouldn't worry about it. Which was dumb. You think this isn't the... Uh-huh. Did you also call her toots and compliment her on her gams? It's not like that. We're friends. It was just a slip of the tongue, and now it's all blown out of proportion. I'm not that kind of guy, really. But now I'm freaking out. Can you tell me what will happen with HR? I'll see what I can do. Ten. The most nothing number on the die. A conversation with HR. Not much to go on from the dice roll. So... <laughs> what do I think this guy deserves? I'm back. Ready to face the music? Let's just get it over with. You sit down with HR in a hard plastic waiting room chair. Next to a hang in there poster from the 80s. For 45 tense minutes... They drill you on every word of your company's sexual harassment policy, ultimately deciding that you need to apologize to her. Are you sure? Because she laughed and said thanks. It was our co-workers that decided to make a big deal out of it. Really, dude? I'm sorry. It's just everyone's acting like I'm some sort of a creep all of a sudden. <laughs> okay, relax. No one is calling you a creep. I know you weren't trying to make her uncomfortable, but you clearly did. So instead of telling some radio DJ that you screwed up and you're really a nice guy, why don't you prove it and apologize to her? Yeah. You're right. Is that easy? Please direct any further questions to your HR rep. Thanks for the call. That, oh, shit. I had a lot of fun with Phi. Ugh. What is wrong with me? What do you mean? Phi is, um... Violet? I had a lot of oh. fun with Phi. <laughs> Ugh. What is wrong with me? I told you. Me? Or in there, baby. 
We are in there. Okay. Same shit, different day. What the hell? Oh, fucking Valkyrie. What am I supposed to do with this? Wow, that's a little too late to you say that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Have I not played a single song this entire time? That's crazy. Okay, depending on what we gotta do, we might wrap it up soon. Because my throat is fucking shot. Oh yeah, I should add a tally for yesterday's match. That game took a lot out of me. But then, they all do. Replay the game? Skip replay? Wait, what? Watch and learn, Steph. The master oh, is about God. to go to work. Aw, that's adorable. You think you're the master? Prove me wrong. That's the plan. Oh, baby. Come on, baby. Hey, you got something on your face. Oh, no, no, never mind. That's just what your face looks like. Okay, but seriously, you really do have something on your face. Just shut up. Oh, it's a look of profound shame after losing to me yet again. Let's go, baby. Well, maybe your cat just doesn't like losers. Hey, Gabe. Where did you get that scratch on your hand? Shut up. been humiliated in his own house you know gloating is not very sportsmanlike <laughs> easy dubs rung by rung sucker okay what do we gotta do <sighs> wait which one did Gabe do again? Get it? Steph picks instead of staff picks? Ryan made me do it. Okay. Step one of my grand plan to corrupt the youth. I've lost 20 years of lower back functionality using this goddamn relic. Gotta grab this from the CD section. I was hoping to put a CD on whole Apocalypse Red album. Related to the first game. Oh my god, I gotta I gotta look that up. Because how? I don't I don't get it. Um Professional at work, okay dude.
What's the backstory? I I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand. Come on, Gingrich. I'm lost. Oh my god, can I do can I just Thanks for calling KRCT. You're on with Steph. Hey. Hi. I've... Um... This is my first time calling, so sorry if I get it wrong. The wrong answer is I'm hanging up. <laughs> hey, don't worry. There's no way to get it wrong. Just tell me what's on your mind. Right. Uh, thanks. Well, I played on my high school soccer team last year since all the rec leagues here stop at age 16. And this girl on the team is just, I don't know, the worst. Like, I know I'm awkward sometimes. I'm not like a cool girl, but that's no excuse for her to torture me like she does. I don't want to stop playing. Soccer is the only thing I've ever really been good at. I guess what I want to know is, I want to stand up for myself, but will that turn out well? Or should I just call it quits now? Dude, just stand up that for yourself. legitimately sucks. Let me see what I can see. All of it has been negative. Boom. 16. Bullies are the worst. Especially when they ruin something you love. What do I tell her? She rolled pretty high. You should shut her down. You become friends. Yeah, fuck that. All Same right. energy. Ready to hear your future? All day, every day, yeah. baby. What is it? You keep your head down. And at first, it feels like nothing's changed. She keeps at it, torturing you whenever she gets the chance. But one day... In the dead heat of a tied game, she goes for the steal... And misses. You totally stunt on her, getting possession and sinking the go-ahead goal. Top corner, near post. The crowd goes wild. And in an instant, your teammates wake up. Sweet. Things don't become totally amazing right away. But by the end of the season, you and your teammates are thick as thieves. And Miss Mean Girl is out in the cold. Turns out, nobody likes an asshole. And they were all just waiting for permission to stop pretending. I mean, yeah, it sounds good, but it's just a nice story. Well, if it helps, I've been there. Really? Yeah. Middle school, high school, I thought I'd have to move away to make it stop. Kids like this girl of yours have a nose for what makes you different. They sense weird and they get their claws out. But if you figure out what makes you weird and embrace it, arm yourself with it, you take it out of their hands and into yours. They're left with no ammunition. For me, it was coming out. For you, who knows? But whatever makes you weird is also what makes you a badass. Trust me. Thanks, Steph. That does help. A lot. You're welcome. And thanks for calling. Okay. Dude, how long is this game? <laughs> Let me see, I think there was a... Been a while since I've worked on my song ish thing found it uh -oh. damn 
Yeah, as crazy as PTSD. I am so not having this right now. Last chore. Just get it done. Um. This filled up like a week after I printed a new one, which is one of those good problems. Oh. Oh, yeah. I've been tinkering with this one for like half a year. That's the one. And I still don't know what it's supposed to be. Yeah, that's I like the one. it though. Yeah. So far. It's hard would have been basic. dope with a breakdown right oh and a vocal track a trumpet breakdown a dark breakdown maybe i'll really bring the doom and gloom in the breakdown hey yo that doesn't block my shit clean up trash add ethan's drawing huh what drawing Ethan a little curveball. <laughs> Let's see what Ethan does with that. <laughs> can't afford them yet. You can't just let customers pluck up all the good stuff. The campaign's kind of on hiatus right now. gave this to me on our first date. Kind of made up for missing pride. At least at the time. Violet? What the fuck is Violet? Oh, there we go. They found her body in the junkyard. Like fucking trash. Oh my god, Chloe! Where's Chloe? Oh uh, yeah, I forgot about the <laughs> And just this music in the background. I think I think it's probably glitch. It's just like any other day. Just like any other fucking day. Gabe. Gabe's a great friend. More importantly, he's got booze. When I'm done here, I'll close up the DJ booth and call him. Still gonna leave this here. I'm allowed to make some bad decisions. Hmm. Pull yourself together, Misty. Still haven't figured out what's making my snare buzz. Ugh. Okay, close the booth? Okay. No way, he's still playing. <gasps> Gabe, listen. <laughs> I want to... 
Okay, let's <laughs> let's turn off this music. Oh, it's already turned off. <laughs> Drink until I can't feel feelings. Think you can help me out? I'll be right there. Yo, why is he on my fucking schlub? I understand, okay, I know how this time of year is when the memories attack you and all you want to do is shut them out. I know you want would give anything to get through tonight without thinking about her, Arcadia Bay, Chloe, or me. But just in case, I'm here for you. I always will be, no matter how fucking terrible this night always is. I'm not at least bit sorry that I still have you in my life. And now you feel the same, even if you're literally worse at showing it. You know, you know I'm around and could definitely use it gave me distraction. Really glad we can hang out tonight. Like I said, this time of year for me, it's well, you know. Mm hmm. Please elaborate. Yeah. Damn. Why am I such a downer? Come on. Let's see what monsters and trickery you have planned for Elamon to breeze past this week. <laughs> You're on. I just need to do a few things to get set up. Okay. Where were we? Oh, God. Let's see what horrible surprises are in store for you in the next room. Bring it on. Holy shit, this music is going intense as fuck. We playing or not? Shh, well is this coming? Rachel. Penis! <laughs> 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 I think Chloe and Rachel are playing their own game. <laughs> no. No. Pass me the nerd dice. The what? <sighs> Pass me the D20, D10, and D4, please. Sure thing. I'm gonna bash this Hydra's head in with its other heads. You got this. Hmm. Everything okay? Just some memories. Good memory or bad memory? Is there a difference? I know what you mean. Sometimes the most painful memories are from before all this shit went down. I wasted so much time being jealous of Chloe and Rachel. Whatever they had, I thought it was perfect. And now? so fucking guilty that I spent even one second being anything but appreciative that they were in my life. You really think you did anything wrong? You were a kid. They didn't deserve my jealousy. They deserved so much better. Look, mm -hmm. Steph, what you're feeling... I'm fine. Come on, let's keep playing. Elamon was about to enter the secret treasure chamber. Damn right. Chloe and I weren't best friends or anything. But she was there for me when it mattered. She wasn't afraid of anything. Same for Rachel. She always said Chloe saved her life. But I'm pretty sure that went both ways. 
And if she could have, I know Chloe would have stopped at nothing to save Rachel. Because that's how strong she was. Rest in peace, Chloe. Rest in peace, Rachel. Fuck, I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. It's cool. We can stop. Yeah, no, I don't know. I was hiding in the back, you know? I was supposed to speak after you, but I realized that if I stood up there, I'd have to look at everyone. Chloe's mom, Rachel's parents, half the town. There was no way, so I bailed. I understood. Everyone did. I don't understand how you did it. Me neither. I just kind of did. This audio so much. When I think about Chloe and Rachel, my whole grip on reality falls away. The people I care about, the stuff I like. How can any of it matter? What kind of world is it that lets that shit happen? I'll let you know if I figure it out. You know we don't have to keep playing. Let's try. Oh god. Where are my notes? I need to check my notes. Hey, take your time. And that's minus five HP. Oh, come on. How is your GMing even more devious from Seattle? Must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know next week is the... Well, it's the thing. Oh my God, this dude keeps breaking it up, dude. I was thinking, why don't you come? It'll be, well, you know, it'll be fucking horrible, but maybe a little less horrible if we're both there. Yeah, that sounds good. Why are you doing this? I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you, again. When I ghost people, they go away. That's how it works. But you didn't. Why? Why do you think? Hmm. Maybe you just can't let go of high school. I'm your human time capsule back to the good old days. I know you don't believe that. Fuck. <laughs> I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this... I need you. Hmm? That's why I keep coming back. What is the In end high school, me? I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. And now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you that makes you feel any better. I do this shit to everyone. It doesn't, but continue. Ever since Arcadia Bay, it's like the moment I start to care about someone or some place, that's it matter of time before I find something wrong and I'm out maybe that's okay maybe being a flaky lesbian punk nerd is your destiny <laughs> like Elamon adventure will always find you 
I never thought of it that way. Hey, that's why I'm here. I don't deserve you as a best friend. But I promise I'll do better. Because the truth is, I need you too. Aww. Now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. He is? I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. I don't forget anything, and don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. Oh, spooky. <sighs> no way this song okay. is still playing. We've had no calls in the past hour, which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Both of which I respect. I gotta say, though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Jen. Honestly. I might do this every year. I was about to say, is this the first day we hey meet there, Alex? Hey there, you're live on KRCT, and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Oh. Uh, hey, it's Gabe. It's everyone's favorite bartender. Hey, any resolution? How's the lantern? So, what are your resolutions and how many have you already broken? Yeah. Uh, I was actually hoping to get your take on one of them. Oh. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to the psychic oh all right what's on your mind uh, there's someone in my family who might be totally alone right now what? i've been thinking of reaching out to her the thing is it's been seven years <sighs> Alex. and all that time i never got in touch why not maybe you weren't ready why didn't you because I didn't have anything to offer her. That's been my excuse for ages. No, look, the truth is I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me. And honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So I'm calling you to ask, what's gonna happen if I contact her? Uh -oh. What's she gonna say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? Shh, shh, shh. Don't ruin it. Okay. Give me a second. Uh-oh, here we go. Wonder if it's gonna be true. Guess what? It's looking bright. Seriously? What would be super good for Gabe? A sense of purpose. A honest conversation. Hmm. The day you call her, you're a ball of nerves. Mm -hmm. You get the number wrong four times. And when she finally picks up and says, hello, Seller insurance. You clam up. Total silence. Except for your obvious breathing. What? She blocks your number. You have to call back on a landline. <laughs> but hearing her voice changed everything. Suddenly, the most important thing in the world is making sure she's okay. Yo. Now you're on a mission and your own fears don't matter anymore. You're too busy sending her jokes and making time to hear about the worst part of her day. 
you're still afraid you'll screw things up. And you do. A lot. But underneath, there's a sense of security. Because now you're driven by a purpose that will always steer you back to her. No matter what happens. Hmm. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Mm. Then I'll see you. Is this the ending? And the music is still playing. <laughs> That's not the ending. Read ads, play songs, take calls. I'm a fully automated DJ. Okay. <laughs> This music is pissing me off. <laughs> Let me see if I can turn it off. Yeah, yeah. My hose can wait. Um, where's the music? What the fuck? Why is it in here? Charlotte and I were not built for that meditation class. Felt like termites were chewing up my fucking legs. No way this shit is just gone all of a sudden. I did a bunch of work on my song. I think it's finally finished. Please change it. My little idea has grown up into a whole ass song. Maybe I should share it with Someone? Yeah, play on the radio. Come on. Uh, finally. Hey, KRCT listeners. Got a special treat for you. Here's a world premiere by a talented up-and-comer who might just be finally getting her shit together. Let me know what you think. Can we hear it? Hey, old friend. <laughs> Emphasis on old. Um. What? <laughs> Yo, those vo those vocals are uh those vocals are kinda crazy. <laughs> they are really fucking crazy. But hey, you know, good shit. I'm curious as to uh how people are gonna take it. Okay, let's see. Um what's our ads for today? Man. Last show of 2018. I know I say this every New Year's, but this was a fucking crazy year. Oh my god, 2019 New Year's free champagne to Bell last night. Okay. KRCT is brought to you by the Black Lantern, where at this very moment, there's a New Year's rager brewing. You still have time to get some champagne. Grab a complimentary glass of bubbly in time for the countdown. Also, tap out night is the last Thursday of every month. The Lantern offers...
Bank specials? Link specials so you can try all the new arrivals without breaking the bank. Happy New Year from the Black Lantern, the beer-scented heart of Haven Springs. <laughs> all right, Gabe. What did you leave out there for me? Uh, germs. Happy New Year's from Grimleys. Thank you, KRC, for continued partnership. We served the Harmon community 13 years. So in case curious six that number, we're open during all major holidays. Keep get yourself safe. Okay. Hey, we've got a returning sponsor today. Grimley's Auto Repair. Serving Haven Springs. Since emo ruled the earth since before some of you were born. Since 2005, when some of y'all were writing Fallout Boy lyrics in your aim away message. You know who you are. Grimley's is opened on every major winter holiday. So if you... Hit a reindeer, hit a firework. Get your mirror blasted off by a runaway New Year's firework tonight. They are wide awake and ready to help. Again, that's Grimley's Auto Repair. Your best and greasiest neighbors. Okay. Uh, groceries. Have, we have a bit overstock. Holiday food on sale. Full size turkey. Small town. Fresh. Blow on holiday decorations. White selections. Okay. Are you sorry to see the winter season go? Not sure how you're going to survive the long holidayless stretch until Valentine's Day? Not to worry. Spamps Grocery has you covered. Keep the winter cheer alive with. Prepare holiday foods, more decorations. Sales on your favorite holiday foods. Treat yourself to a discounted novelty size candy cane, but this time without the excuse. And as we ready those New Year's resolutions, Spamps is your one stop shop for. Uh, get food, bland foods. Healthy foods to eat during the two weeks you actually use your gym membership. Happy New Year from Spamps. Okay. Okay, I think that that was it, hopefully. <laughs> On body? Yep. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Oof. No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's as good a sign as any. <laughs> okay. Time to say goodbye to this app. Let's see, Violet. Um. Uh oh. Did we just get friend zone? Uh, me too. So, um, hey. Holy shit. Hey, how are you? Good, you know? I'm tourist season, so tell right is crawling to ski bros. How are you? Yeah, I'm not bad actually. Got invited to GM. I've been thinking about a little bit how things ended. Kind of sucked, huh? Uh, I mean, it could have been way worse. So yeah, I guess so. I just started seeing someone new. It's going really well, and I like her so much. But like, I don't know. You and I had so much fun. I miss you too. Want to be bros? What kind of uh, would I be if my friend group wasn't primarily composed of exes? Evelyn Point, congrats. By the way, you deserve to be happy. Oh, I knew it. For the streets. <laughs> oh, well, what they didn't think, in, think I'm taking myself off the market. Honestly, for now, that might end up being really good for you. I'll definitely get more done. Okay. Okay, time to get out of work. Yo, you checked under the front door at the shop lately for like, I don't know, surprises I left there. Oh. Ah. What could fit under the front door? Oh my god, if you don't see my Maybe fucking... concert tickets? If you don't still hitting my fucking line. What A fucking it? scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve? My friends are dorks. Wait, what? Your friends put together a surprise scavenger hunt? And this is the first clue? You must have seriously great friends. Steph is witty, bold, and fun, but she's also a great listener. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we're starting off easy. Don't look... Oh, shit.
Oh shit, someone's hitting my line. Damn, dude, this shit's about to be three fucking hours. No way. I'll probably have to cut it here. Ah, no, fuck it. We'll keep it as one. Happy New Year. You're on with Steph. Oh, wow. Hi. I have a major problem I'd love your help with. My college minor was in major problems. Let's hear it. Okay. It's about a Christmas present I got this year from my grandma. Let me guess. Peer pressure has you scared to wear the ugly sweater, even though you actually love it to death. I wish it were that, honestly. My grandma bought me a $4,000 video camera with the lighting rig. Whoa. I know. I don't want her paying for that. She's a retired grocer. But it's not just about the expense. For a while, I wanted to be a movie director, and Grandma super latched onto it. DVDs, filmmaking books, online courses. Now this. I'm guessing you're not as into filmmaking anymore? Honestly, the more I've learned about the industry, the more I question if it's really something for me. Hmm. So what do I do? Return the camera and just roll over her feelings with the truck? I will consult the Cosmos. Oh god. A 12 doesn't tell me much. What does one do with an overexpensive gift? Just use it. What? Cosmos consulted. I'm braced for it. You keep the camera. Even though it hurts your insides thinking about how much grandma paid. Ugh. And since the gear is taking up half your bedroom anyway, you start putting it to good use. You start a video blog and kick it off by interviewing the person who made it all possible. Grandma would actually love that. She oh. tells you all about her childhood, which is already interesting enough. But it's her sweet demeanor, yet shockingly salty language that makes it go viral. Soon, you forget all about the pressure you put on yourself to be a filmmaker. And you just have fun making stuff. And you start to think... Maybe Grandma knew exactly what she was doing when she bought it for you. Duh, of course. Right. I've just gotta use it. Thanks for helping me see that. It's what I do. You're welcome. Yo, so much to do. All right, it's on. Where's this next clue? Um, what? Let's see, what is Fiona talking about? Oof. I was not doing so hot last time we talked. Maybe I should let her know I'm okay. Uh, are you dumping me? Let her go reach out. Jeez, this is kind of an awkward message to send. Now that I've already committed with the hey, I don't even know I'm right ish. LOL. Hey. It's actually really good to hear from you. And really good to hear that you're doing okay, buddy. How's theater? Still acting? Yeah, remember when I told you about the production of Christmas Carol? Just had our last performance on a Switch Ghost where you none actually? Oh, Scrooge? What? <laughs> Hey Scrooge, what would they think next? So, uh, about that. Been doing a little reflection and like, I don't know. Ah, uh, this is hard. <laughs> I'm 100% here for you, but holy shit, this whole conversation magically is a business, not things that actually help. Uh, somehow, I think I'm a guy 
or I want to be a guy, or maybe those are the same thing. Holy shit, that rules. Fucking congrats. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. You're like the dead person of tone. Hey, you picked a name. What pronoun should I use? Not really. I'm not officially out, out yet. I kind of like Quentin. Quentin? Want me to call you Quentin? How that feels? That sounds really nice. Yeah, if you don't mind. So, how about what's going on i mean i don't know you expect me to top that but <laughs> i think my visit oregon settling into heaven haven uh, i'm finally starting to figure out how i fit here so that's good this is good what change i'll see nothing nothing about the town anyway the dating app life how's that going uh it's not honestly i barely touched it in months until today thinking about the leaving profile picture oh uh, shit i'm late for work hey I'm glad you reached out. Same. Let's hang out sometime. Absolutely. Okay. Hell yeah. Look at. Uh... Oh my god! Is Izzy really still hitting my shit up? That she didn't want to talk to me. Oh god. Hey, yo, she's fucking obsessed. So I unblocked you. Yeah, you sure did. Huh? Uh, I just found this. Now you might want a copy. Oh, wow. That's a really good pick of us. Oh, I know, right? I look hot. Oh, you really do. Man, what a good day, huh? Yeah, anyways. Hit me up if you're ever back in Seattle. Yo, let it go, man. Don't beat the radio show test. Let it go, man. It's like, come on. <laughs> How does Ducky make all of this stuff while also spending every waking minute of his, a fucking scavenger hunt on New Listener. Year's Eve? My friends are dorks. We're starting off easy to go looking for us right here. There it is. Getting pretty mushy. Even for Gabe. One year ago, this brought us together. We were friends in a heartbeat. Ah. Heartbeat, heartbeat, heart. Beat, 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 beat. Drums? Drums? The drums. Yep. I knew it. Typical Ryan, making triple sure I get it. Uh, ever since you started eliminating the future, you've been a bright spot uh, in people's lives. You really made Haven shine. The tree. Oh my god. Now this. How does Ducky make all of this stuff while also spending every waking minute of his life at the bar? Something bright. Something bright. Bright, bright. If someone told me when I started this random ass job that we'd get popular enough to sell merch, I would have punched them in the foot. Something bright, something bright, 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 shining, bright, 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 shining. Oh my god, I'm never gonna finish this game. Hey, hey, you're on with Steph. Hello, Stephanie. <laughs> is this Ducky? Indeed it is. I'm calling with an inquiry about the future. <laughs> I'm seriously flattered. I'm inquiring about my gentleman's mortality wager. You made a death bet with someone? Many years ago, my friends and I buried a chest of some value deep in the nevada desert we agreed that the last of us to remain alive would win the right to dig up that chest and claim its contents it's a common arrangement although it's <laughs> admittedly fallen out of favor and legality you may know it as a tontine how old are these friends how many of you are loved how many of you are left Three uh, plus me equals four for now. I'll consult the fates and be right back. So glad this is up to the D20 and not me. Four. Sorry, Ducky. Or yay. 
So, Ducky's Tontine. <laughs> Ducky, I'm back. Prognosticate away. Happily, or sadly, your friends all continue to live this year. So you don't win your Tontine. You're certain? They're really old. <laughs> you could kill them. I give this prediction a bronze octagon. It's the highest level of radio psychic certainty known to man. I see. But thinking about your friend's death so much causes you to remember why you were friends with them in the first place. You decide to visit each of them over the year and have a great time reconnecting on a totally tontine free level. If I cannot be rich in gold, I will be rich in friendship. Fuck you, dude. Thanks for calling, Ducky. Sorry, didn't back me up. So no. I know I say this every New Year's, but this was a fucking. Cr my inner Tyler Durden hates this part of the job, but my inner Billy Mays loves it. Okay. Um, I think that's it, right? Oh god. Gotta keep looking. Where's that next clue? Hey, what? With great leaps and bounds, the magma frog carries Elamon safely across the ocean of lava. See, buddy? I told you I wasn't going to scorpion you. Suddenly, the magma frog unfurls his giant tongue, wrapping it around Elamon's torso and holding him aloft like a fruit fly. Hey, what's that for? What can I say? It's in my nature. Wait a <laughs> All right, what the fuck was that? Oh, Gabe's bike? Gabe ran into a pole doing bike tricks to make me laugh. Mission accomplished. Oh. I'm glad Quentin and I reconnected. But really, I was the one who needed to figure out my shit. Steph, I never meant to cross a line with you, but I know what I did was inexcusable. I don't know I hurt you. I've got a lot of shit to figure out with how I treat people. I'm sorry. Sorry, Riley, but that horse had to go. Thank you so much for delightful vintage Corso horse. I think it's just the luckiest thing. Riley says it's creepy and keeps it keeps taking it out the shop, but we'll see which of us has the last laugh. Damn, Mikey. When did you turn into such a grown-up? I thought you might like a reminder of how we've come. Hey, yo, come. If it turns out I sold more bird call CDs than punk records this year, I'm gonna give Ryan a wedgie. Dang it, Ryan. I tried to help you, bro. Get Ryan Lay. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's uh, let's figure this shit out. Foosball. Gotta add the latest game. Oh god. Definitely a worthy match to close out the year. All right, let's do it. Get the fucking blood pumping, cause holy fuck. Look, your fundamentals are solid, but your trash talk needs some serious improvement. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. of this moment. You are enrolled in Professor Gabe Chen's Trash Talk University. Damn, man. Sounds prestigious. Okay, Professor. Teach me. Lesson one. You gotta get in your opponent's head. Be ruthless. Use their insecurities <laughs> against them. Sorry, I was just thinking about that pic Shar showed me of your scene phase. 
Oh, fuck you. Was it hard to play foosball with your Hot Topic bangs obscuring your line of sight? It was the mid-2000s, okay? Okay, let's move on to lesson two. That was actually funny. That was actually funny. I'm not gonna lie, that was funny. You gotta flex your bragging muscles. Really just blast a guitar solo right in their stupid face, you know? How much do you bench? Boom! Thanks for the lesson, Professor. How'd I do? I've taught you all I can. The student has become the master. Should all the acquaintance be forgot? Let's go. What the hell is Ducky up to? Hmm. So he's like killing his own people? What the hell? So the last clue was uh here. Wall of Fame. What? Typical Ryan making triple Lemonade. sure I get it. Bright. Bright shine. Huh? Hope I've done the old place proud. Damn. We had a good time together that day. What's that? Yo, it's kind of hard finding like <laughs> there it is. Huh, sure. You had you took a giant leap of faith and moved to a strange town where you forged a better creative life for yourself. Find the next clue in the record bin that describes what you are. So back here. Record bin, record bin. Unless Turns out every record I had on hold for myself was the perfect holiday gift for one of my friends. Record bin. Oh, inspirational. Hey, yo, holy I... shit, boy. <laughs> what? Good effort, <laughs> Ethan. Thanks for selling comics. That's what I call some awesome switchboard. Switchboard. Where's the switchboard? Over here. Right here. Got to keep the new hires in check. If we ever get new hires. Um, switchboard, switchboard, switchboard. How's the game going? I remember the original one being good with some hints of cringe. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like it, but it's taking forever, man. I'm already almost three hours in. <laughs> and this is a DLC, dude. Is it getting too much? <laughs> My throat is fucking shot for talking all day. <laughs> and look, there's like a there's like a dating method here. <laughs> I've literally been reading all this shit. Yeah. But it's interesting because there's a there's references. Like there's something Something happened with this chick in the the first game. Like she was involved in it, and I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on? I I don't know. <laughs> and now <laughs> I'm looking. What am I looking for? Switchboard. I'm doing like a hunt to find some stuff. But you know, it's, it's cool. <laughs> it's alright. Ethan's definitely referring to some serious audio equipment. Where would that be? Right there? No. Audio equipment. Audio. In the booth? Gotta be here. Let's see. Lots of puzzles or explain or something? Um... 
See, right now I'm like, I'm like on the treasure hunt. But, like, it's, it's literally where a radio. Okay. That clue's in here somewhere. Or, uh, um, this is literally a radio simulator. See, Valkyrie? We're best friends. It says so right here. She's your real best friend. No point trying to pretend. I tried to complete. I admit defeat. It's a match made in hell. What can I say? Oh, well. That's the clue? What See, is that? See, Valkyrie? We're best friends. It says so right here. She's... She's your real best friend. No point trying to pretend. I try to compete. I admit defeat. It's a much match made in hell. What can I say? Oh well. Um. The foosball chart. <laughs> Bars. Okay, maybe. Gotta keep looking. Where's that next clue? Oh, thank God, it's right there. You solved the scavenger hunt. Your prize is on the shelf in the back. Okay, get me in there. Shelf on the back. Uh, uh, uh there's a lot of shelves. Where? Right here? Um. Fuck. Oh. Pity. Apology letter. Here? Turns out every record but I had on hold for it? myself was the perfect holiday gift for one of my friends. Um. Oh god. Oh. Holy shit. This is rad. Whoever sits here does uh, so by by beneficence of stuff. Black Lantern, regular and stable of Haven community, and must yield their place to her a bond you request. You wonderful bunch of absolute geeks. Let's see, Steph, the time has come for me to formally release you from your foosball oath. If or when you're ready to leave Haven, I won't throw a fit, I promise. On the other hand, though, maybe you've seen the little plaque screwed onto some of the bar stools at fine old taverns and such. Those seats are reserved for members of the community who, no matter how far they stray or how long they stay gone, will always have a spot at the bar when they return. Well, you're one of them now. You've earned it. Thanks for a great year. We love you, man, Gabe, Ryan, Charlotte. P.S. Swing by tomorrow. All right. I think it's about time to crack open that champagne. Did we do it? <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> I'm not, dude. I'm liking this, but at the same time, like you know, let's uh, let's let's wrap it up. <laughs> let's wrap it up. <laughs> Okay, Jed. What have you hooked me up with? Close enough. It drags on a little too much. Yeah, it's been like a cycle. Like, I've been doing the same thing eight times each day. Happy New Year, Valkyrie! <sighs> Wherever you are. But I'm already locked in there. I want to see what happens. What's the ending? Why she has PTSD? Because if I remember correctly, she's not even involved in the first one. But from this DLC, it seems like she's involved, like hardcore. Like they're literally best friends. But I just don't remember them ever interacting with one another. Oh, Ryan. Let's go. <gasps> oh shit, here we go. I think this is um the day we meet Alex. The cat's there, Ryan is there. I think it is. Here we go. Shout out to anyone who sung along with that bridge. You're awesome. New releases in just a minute, but first, let's hear from you. Hey there, you're live on KRCT. How's it going? Hey, Steph, I heard you don't do fortunes anymore. Could you, could you make an exception? Sorry, those days are over. But why? Did something happen? Not really. Just started thinking life's more interesting if you don't try to predict everything first. 
It's such a tiny question. All I want to know is which friend should I... The taller one. Thanks for calling. <laughs> W responds. Question from <laughs> Rochelle in Colorado Springs. How's Valkyrie doing? Val let me pet her the other day, and then she bit me more gently than usual. We're definitely getting somewhere. All right. Here's a new release from The Wednesday. Let me know what you think. The Wednesday? Ah. <gasps> uh. So she was thinking of leaving on that day. Is music off? Yeah. I had to turn it off. It's a bitch trying to remove a block section. But, you know, we get this. Oh. Or this. There she is. Miss motherfucking Alex. I think we did it. <laughs> Whoa! That's kind of cool. Boom. And that's where the game starts. Or that's where the main fucking game starts. Oh my god. Was this really time consuming? That was almost three hours for a DLC. <laughs> Oh god. Alright, well, I've officially finished um oh god. I re I've officially finished uh Life Assurance True Colors. Oh you do. 